And we're here at the Killa Boutique Hotel, a uh, very nice hotel. Uh, this is the location outside, so if you guys are lost and trying to figure out where to go to, uh, you may pause the video and check it out, but it's pretty easy. Uh, a lot of space here to park your motorbike as well. Um, they got a security guard here in the front, which is nice. It is Tet New Year, so that's nice that we have a, a, a New Year's resolution here. We also have laundry to do charge for that, uh, it's like per kilogram. Um, and this is the lob lobby area. This is my friend here. He's a very good guy. He's right here in the front. And they also got refillable water right here. Very nice. And right here, they got a pool area. Very beautiful pool, uh, pool area here. And uh, you can see right here, this is also, they also have a shower. They have a shower and uh, also sink area here. So let me go ahead and show you guys. It's a little bit rainy right now, but they have some seating area right here that you can sit on. Very nice design. I like the design here. You can see right here, there's about several la uh, levels for sure. And uh, this is the elevator here. If you guys are interested um, in breakfast, they, they do provide breakfast. You have to check and make sure that uh, your, your breakfast is included with your rate. Uh, but you know, the great thing is this, you have an elevator to go to the floor, and I'm on the fourth floor, but you can see right here, there's about eight floors uh, you can be able to go on. And um, you know, the, the very top floor is reserved for uh, breakfast and whatnot. So uh, if you want breakfast, you want to be able to go to the eighth floor in regards to that. So I'm um, going up right now to the fourth floor where my room is at. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and check it out. The beautiful thing about this place is you've got the elevator, but you also have stairs. And this is very nice. So folks that wanna get some exercise in the morning, you're more than welcome to get some uh, there. Actually, you know what? Let me go. Let me go in and see if I can go to the eighth floor here, and show you guys how the eighth floor looks like, um, where you guys will get breakfast. Uh, and I've got to say, the breakfast is really nice. It's a nice feature to have. They've got a pretty good selection: fruits, pho, uh, some kind of hot menu items, which was very nice. Uh, so right now we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, Go to the eighth floor, and we're here at the eighth floor. And breakfast, breakfast is gonna be over here. So you can see right here, this breakfast area is closed down, but that's fine. And this is the view from the eighth floor. All the way up, pretty high up, guys. And uh, the great thing about this place is the openness. It has a lot of nice windows, nice uh, natural lighting that comes in here, which I really do appreciate. And like I said, look at the design. Very nice wood area, nice chandelier. Let me come out here real, for, real quick in a second here. These are the rooms right here. Very nice. Pretty high up, pretty high up floor, and you can see this is the this is the view from where it's facing outside, which is nice. The seventh floor, so we're gonna continue going down. So getting some nice exercise. I got some exercise earlier today, uh, climbing up the Buddhist uh, temple area. And some, I guess some floors have no lights, or maybe they do, it they're turned off. I'm gonna continue going down here. And they have these nice little paintings on each floor, which is very nice, so. Overall, a uh, very nice stay. Uh, not pricey at all. Decent breakfast. Overall, I do recommend this uh, boutique location and area. It is tucked away from a lot of the, the busy streets, which I do appreciate, especially when traveling. I don't want it really loud and, and busy, but uh, you know, across the street, there are some bars and whatnot. So you're not far away 
from the bar and, and street area. The beach is basically two blocks away, so very, very close by. Uh, I will leave a link down below uh, for this hotel if you'd like to book it and uh, you guys can be able to check it out. If you have any comments, questions whatsoever, feel free to comment down below. Happy to answer any questions you may have um, here about this boutique hotel or any other uh, air, you know, things to do here in the area. Happy to answer any questions. This is a very nice, uh, I believe hotel or condo right there. Very nice as well. Uh, there's a lot of nice locations here. And you can see right here, the location is right by all these restaurants and whatnot. So uh, I've got to say, this was a very nice, um, very nice stay, very nice city. I highly recommend it when traveling through Vietnam. So again, I'll leave a link below for the in the description. Feel free to subscribe with the notification bell and press the like button for your YouTube algorithm. Check you guys out on the next video when I do the review on the room. Thanks. The Killer Boutique Hotel. And when you do come in, there's an alarm here, which is very nice. They can instead of knocking. You put your card key here. These are for lights. You can switch the lights on. Very nice. And you put your card there to open the door. It's a digital card. Let me go ahead and show you the bathroom right here. This is a very nice bathroom, really nice design, simple, elegant. And what I like about this is the shower. The shower has two different uh, faucets. You got this one here and you got the one above here. Uh, and these buttons right here, when you press them, they have the ability to um, deploy both of them, which is really nice. But very large shower. You got a little area to put some kind of shampoos and stuff like that. But open the, the window right there. Um, nice closet, you've got a little safety deposit box right there. Uh, hair dryer, very nice. Uh, this one I think is, yep, this one is also sliding. This is a very nice, uh, big, big closet. So for people that have a lot of stuff they wanna hang, they're more than welcome. You also have these uh, little things you can wear uh, if you wanna go to the pool and whatnot. Um, snacks, there's a charge for snacks, but they give you complimentary small waters. Uh, when you do come in flat screen tv very nice um you got a little uh, mini bar uh, down there as well overall very large room uh even the other rooms are they're all basically the same there's going to be one difference which i'll show you here in a minute but uh bed is all going to be the same this little couch area is all going to be the same uh in the bathroom this one does go up so you can actually have a view if you do open the curtains uh look at the elegant design up here this is very nice i really do appreciate that um so just let's go ahead and open this up here and uh, let's go ahead and open it up here so this is the outside area very large outside area and uh we're going to zoom out right there now keep in mind not all not all rooms have balconies so you can see ones with balcony and you can see the ones without a balcony. Now, I have checked out the ones without a balcony. You do have a lot more room inside the room because the balcony is not there. It's basically part of the room. But personally, I chose the one with the balcony. You can sit up out here. Uh, nice greenery. Nice view of, of everything up here. Uh, and the location is phenomenal. You've got all the restaurants and bars right next door. Um, Looks like these guys are dancing out here. Very nice. You got coffee and tea and whatnot over here. So overall, uh, I really enjoyed my stay here at the Kila Boutique Hotel. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below in the comment section. Happy to answer any questions you may have. With that said, press the like button, subscribe for more videos, and check you guys out on the next time. Thank you so much. Now at Q Non City. Vietnam and this is a very nice city you can see it has this kind of welcome to the Vietnam city in the background let's go and zoom out here uh, the rooms are very nice I will leave a link down below in for the room there's an elevator but also there's a stairs you can be able to take which is nice it's an exercise in the morning uh, my room is right there and I'll do a review here and later but you can see there's a variety of different floors. Uh, this is the fourth floor. There's about, looks like seven, eight floors up top. And you can see down.
down here there's a pool area very nice pool area so i'm gonna go to breakfast breakfast i think is on the eighth floor let's go ahead and go up and uh, i like the design they did of this hotel it's called the killer hotel interesting name i don't know if it's the owner's name or whatnot i'll find out but uh very nice hotel, pretty small, compact, feels kind of cozy, like a, not a hostel, but a homestay somewhere. This is the sixth floor, so we're getting some more exercise here, yeah? surely but slowly. So let's go continue going up. City down there, but also we got the ocean. Ocean's all the way there. So ocean's about walking distance, about a couple blocks. We also got other hotels here, like you see right here, FLCC Tower. And you got some nice mountain area. It's very really nice. And that's what I like about this is the mountain area. We got a lot of beautiful trees out here. So if this is helpful, press the like button, subscribe for more videos. Comment down below if you stay at the Kilo Hotel or another hotel here in uh, Q, uh, Qnon. Uh, happy to hear your thoughts of the city. And check you guys out in the next video. Thanks.